Today's technology can provide unprecedented insights into the processes of nature. We recently used false egg heart rate monitors in addition to measures of productivity and behavior to address questions about the effects of off-road vehicles and military flight training on breeding shorebirds. My name is Eli Rose and today I'm going to demonstrate the methods we use for constructing simple cost-effective heart rate monitors. Our design is patterned in many respects after that recently published by Jennifer Arnold et al. With some differences owing to the fact that we deployed heart rate monitors for extended periods of time, in some cases more than 30 days. This allowed us to get heart rates of individuals outside of captivity and under a variety of environmental conditions. To build it, we will need wire, microphone, shrink wrap, heart rate egg, 9 inch or 12 inch balloons, super glue, electrical tape, base paint, and black block paint. We'll also need some tools, wire cutters and strippers, soldering stand, soldering iron, heat gun, a dremel, and scissors. We start by soldering the microphones to the wires, being careful to get the polarity correct. Once we have a solid electrical connection, we reinforce it with heat shrink tubing, being sure to hold the tubing back from the top of the microphone enough so it is able to snap into the shell. To mount the microphones, first mark the egg, then plunge a beveled Dremel bit into the shell until the diameter of the hole is just large enough for the microphone to snap into place. Add a thin bead of super glue to the perimeter of the microphone and snap it into place. Be careful not to get any adhesive on the felted surface as this will reduce sensitivity. Glue the two halves of the egg together and let the glue set. Next wrap the egg in the balloon, keeping the membrane tight. With electrical tape, secure the balloon around the cord. Now we are ready to paint. Use a non-toxic acrylic paint that can be mixed to achieve the desired color. In order to reduce disturbance associated with the foreign object in the nest, replicate the egg coloration as closely as possible. This is our completed false egg heart rate monitoring system consisting of a 12 volt battery, an H2 zoom audio recorder, and our false egg heart rate monitor. When placing the monitor in the nest, this nail is used to keep the egg from rolling side to side, um, maximizing the amount of time that the microphone stays in contact with the bird in order to improve the quality of our recordings. The battery and the H2 zoom recorder are housed in a three gallon bucket and buried approximately 30 feet from the nest. A hole in the bucket allows us to seal, run the cord through and seal it with the, using this coupler, coupler to keep the elements out. And there it is. So let's see if it works. Got a heartbeat, I'm alive. Using this system, heart rate information can be recorded under a variety of environmental conditions, allowing us to ask a diverse array of questions. The positioning and condition of the heart rate monitor will need to be checked daily for the best recordings. The balloon membrane will dry out after three to five days in the nest. This design allows us to replace the membrane and reuse the monitor two to four times before the microphone fails. Although surgical implants will produce more consistent heart rate recordings, for circumstances where surgery is not practical or not an option, false egg monitors can be an effective and far less invasive solution.